You know, culture is, is so important to me. I consider myself a very HR-centric CEO. It all started when I took my, my three teammates like two, two years ago into a conference room and I said, hey, we need to come up with some core values. So we came up with four values that we really believed in. And they weren't even values, they were just kind of concepts. Um, they were ship all day, party all night because we were a technical team. I'm an engineer by training. They were um, fail fast and often because that's what startups should do because they should keep kind of iterating and learning and experimenting. Never say no because, only say yes if because we, have, we want a positive culture where people are encouraged to, to try new things. The fourth one was high risk, high reward, which is this idea that we're all taking a chance, but we know that we can have a massive impact um, in the future if, if, if we take this chance. Those four pillars, cultural pillar, pillars we call them, kind of weren't enough as we were growing. So what I did is a year ago, I brought the entire team together and I said, hey, here's a stack of post-its. I want you to come up with the values you want this company to have. And through a week-long exercise, we came with nine core values, which we're really, really proud of. And those nine core values drive everything we do. And all that is uh, lives and breathes in this company and through our culture. You know, culture is kind of the softer side of the core values that we really believe in. And, uh, just a quick example, one of our uh, core values is uh, be outrageous. And I love that core value because we really believe that people should be their own person when they come to work and not hide that because that's the unique individual, individual characteristics we have is what makes us a fun place. So um, we're always fun and a little weird and we encourage that.